Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Designer Studio episode. Today we're taking a closer look at the Lockheed F-104 Starfighter, pretty long-awaited release on BrickMania.com. Brennan, our designer, here to talk a little bit more about this build. Yeah, so this was a, <clears throat> this was a wonderful build by uh, Jonah Padberg. Mm -hmm. um, Plain Bricks on Instagram. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's so bizarre seeing this thing actually made in Lego. It's quite I, a shape I think capture. literally everyone who stopped by my desk has said, that's longer than I thought it was. And it, it's, mm -hmm. it's pretty decently long. And of course, you've also got this lovely, the stubbiest wings in the world. Mm -hmm. Our cameraman on our way down here was telling me, he's like, who shrunk my U2? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it's just it's just this long, sleek plane, well, stubby little wings. Well, then you put those wings. drop tanks on the wings, too, and exactly. that's obviously the look, but it, it does kind of give it a funky just design to it all. Yeah, so I, I think the, the, the name Starfighter fits it quite well. Mm -hmm. I don't think you could have called it much of anything else <laughs> other than the needle. Yeah, right, the lawn dart. Mm-hmm. Um, I've, I've seen a few lawn darts mm -hmm. in my day. This is the most lawn dart to ever, ever lawn darted. <laughs> so you and Jonah getting this project up off the ground. Mm -hmm. Walk me a little bit through the process. Um, well, it, it was pretty straightforward in terms of printing. You can already see quite a lot of it already. Mm -hmm. You've got the lovely, um, lovely star and bars um, on the sides and on the top of the wings, as well as United States Air Force. Um, you also have that on the side. This is, in, unfortunately, in sticker form, but there are so many plates and bricks All coming stacked. across that. Mm -hmm. There's just no way you're going to print that and keep your printing department sane. But you also have uh, the printing on both sides of the cockpit for you know ejector seat type stuff. Um, lovely little canopy sticker by Slam, looking amazing, uh, as well as a little uh, mark of... I don't think that's the kit number, but I, I think this is supposed to be a particular aircraft that I'm, not, <laughs> that I'm not familiar with, actually, oddly enough. Fair enough. Oh, and this little eye blocker uh, stripe or, or cone on the, uh, on the front of the plane. You get the which, gun port on the bottom, too. Oh, that's right. See, I forget that's everything why we're looking about at this. It. Exactly. This is why we have two pairs of eyes, <laughs> because I can only see it from one side. You also have your wonderful loadout, these two. Very large missiles. Um, tip tanks, as you said before. Mm -hmm. Lovely custom minifig in there by Landon. I yeah, we'll have him in in a bit to talk more we'll about see that. see more of that later. We'll show um, off that cockpit, though. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you'll love this. Actually opens the way it's supposed to. That's cool. Get your minifig out. We've got a... We'll, we'll set him over here for a second. You get a look at him sometime. Um, you can probably already see the, the bright red of the printed uh, uh, ejector seat on the back there. And while we don't have a gun sight fit in here, we might have been able to do that. Um, we do have, if you can get a good shot of that, um, this lovely uh, dashboard, uh, again by Slam. Yeah, heck of a control panel there. Seriously, nice. there's a lot going on there for, for such a tiny space. So well done to him. With all this, um, I absolutely adore how he did the tilt on these wings. Yeah, I absolutely. Have, Tough as, angling to capture. Exactly. As someone who's, you know, I've built the Harrier, I've built the P-47, trying to get anhedral and dihedral right is not an easy task. Mm -hmm. And the way he went about it, getting that angle just right, is beautiful, honestly. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I, I never would have thought of that. So that's the F-104. It's a beautiful little plane with... Admittedly, a horrible reputation in the real world. Uh, Luftwaffe pilots. We, we, this thing got mass produced in Germany, I th West Germany, in Canada, mm -hmm. all over the world. People were mass producing this thing, and uh, and still, it, it. I think the Luftwaffe lost like almost 300 of the 700 or 800 that wow. they got. Wow. Okay to the point where the pilots just started calling it the Widowmaker. So a bit of an infamous uh, uh, spot in history for this aircraft. Right, unfortunately. Interesting. For, for such a wonderful looking aircraft, it, it has its history record. But so as for the build yeah. itself, mm -hmm. obviously it's a tube. Yes. But what are some of maybe some of the intricacies within this tube that make it come together the way it does? You already mentioned the way the wings integrate, but I can see we've got <laughs> some flaps and stuff on the back here. Tell me a little bit about how this came together without it being just, you know, a tube. Well. Yeah, there are 
<laughs> it's hard to really explain exactly how everything goes together, but there's a lot of, for example, on the underside here, he's built, he's built it up, uh, right side up and upside down several times mm -hmm. throughout this whole stretch here. So you can already see this is meant to be the top. And so just to get that wheel to stay there and just to get this look here and just to get the whole cockpit to stay together with all of these moving bricks and plates, even the, the, the way that the um, control panel is held in, mm -hmm. it's held in by an upside down tile. Yeah, okay. That's just literally keeping pressure on it. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's very, in it's hard to explain, mm -hmm. but it's very intricate. Um, I love how he even did this transition here. You can see the, the curved slopes on both sides and this lovely double-sided yeah. cheese slopes with the... To make that ridge. Yeah, with that single plate right down the middle there. And that is a, a large combination of bricks and those new uh, brackets. Yeah. The, the bracket that can stick onto the side of things that mm -hmm. has the middle plate on down the side. So it's a lovely, intricate combination of those to get that really distinct shape. I really like it. See, I feel like that's something that you, without knowing, and obviously when you build it, you'll figure it out, but without knowing that, without having built it or seen some of that, it's hard to understand some of the intricacies that go inside, especially when you're exactly. dealing with a fuselage this teeny, and I know you yeah. can relate to some of that <laughs> because you've been working, like, I, I think of the P-39 the Air Cobra. Exactly. You know what I mean? That was a situation where there was a lot you wanted to do, and you had four studs to do it in. Exactly. Is this kind of a similar situation this, for plane bricks? This feels a lot like yeah, okay. that. He's he's definitely put a lot in not a lot of space. Yeah, okay. Um, just the, the way that you, you can see down the side here, this, this gradual continuation of how it slopes down mm -hmm. all the way to the back. And even on the bottom, this, how it just transitions. It's, it's not flawless, obviously, because it's Lego. What mm -hmm. are you going to do? But with what he's got here, he's made this thing look like an F-104. Yeah. And that's, that's always the eye test for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of, I don't want to say it's difficult to screw this up. Mm -hmm. But it's one of those things where if I look at this from a, as a silhouette from any angle, can I immediately go, that's a starfighter? Yeah, right. And he's got that. Oh, very cool. So that's my, that's my eye test anyway. Um, well, and I think as an aircraft yeah. builder, it's an interesting thing for you to have other people's builds. And then like you already mentioned kind of the technique swapping, but then just like, do you feel their pain? At times? I, of, of course. <laughs> I mean, and, and the whole thing about this plane is... This plane, about any plane, mm -hmm. I mean, any build even, is that we all have details that we notice. Sometimes we all notice the same details, but we have different ones that stand out to us. Mm -hmm. Those like, I gotta get this right mm -hmm. details. This needs to look perfect. Mm -hmm. This needs to look right. That angle, for example, that's one of them where he's like, I can't, it's, it's slight. Mm -hmm. But I can't just leave it. Can't have a straight wing. No, right. you can't do that. And I admire that. That's kind of the way I would. I would be sitting up half the night thinking mm -hmm. about that, trying to get that to work. <laughs> How am I going to make sure it's accurate? Exactly. And so seeing where people are like, I want to make this perfect. This can suffer a little bit as long as it kind of keeps the general shape. Mm -hmm. This is definitely one of the, one of those planes where I feel like he got just about everything right that you can. Yeah. Sure. So. Yeah, definitely a solid build. Very, very cool. Nice, nice to see a little bit behind the curtain there when it comes to our, our internal designers working with outside designers and then obviously trying to capture something that is very iconic but also doesn't give you a ton of room to work with. Right. Um, so very, very cool, the F-104 Starfighter. That'll do it for the model itself, unless you got more you want to add? Don't know that I have more to add. Um, okay. Just enjoy it. Sweet. Enjoy the build. <laughs> awesome. Well, up next we got a minifigure because of course somebody's got to fly this thing. So let's bring Landon in and take a closer look at the F-104 Starfighter pilot. All right, so here we are with the man himself. Take it away, my friend. Right on. Uh, I kept this uniform very simple. Um, typically I'll have harnesses, maybe some parachute stuff, but going back and forth with SLAM, there's actually um, that ejection seat has some of those straps. I'm not 100% positive of the ejection suit parachute system. But um, it looks like it's, it's uh, either um, permanently mounted to that seat in there or, um, or it's, it's just like that's the configuration that it's in right now. So this is just a plain pilot. 
um, before he's got his parachute harness on or before he's actually just buckled up. Are you into, telling me the seat, the seat, the seat artwork in here the affects seat. what happens it, to it, the no, minifigure? Really, that's, that's crazy. Because um, a lot of times, the, uh, especially like World War II stuff, the pilots would have, like the, the, they'd be sitting on their parachute. Mm -hmm. You know, so they're kind of like, they're all buckled in and that, that all clips together and that's, their harness is the thing that keeps them in to the ejector seat, or to the, just the seat. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I kept it very simple uh, for this. People who know their history might recognize kind of who this is like roughly based off of. Um, but as, in terms of the overall uh, just like configuration, um, one of the more simple pilot designs that we've made um, for that jacket, and then he's got the, wearing that over that flight suit. But it is kind of nice because it gives it the option of that versatility. Um, you know, this is just that classic. Um, like fighter pilot jacket, mm -hmm. they still, I don't know if they make like official issues or official versions still, but you can still pick these up um, by various different brands. Yeah, sure, but, almost surplus deal now yeah. at this point. That's very cool. Uh, so it's a really iconic jacket, uh, that kind of Cold War era, and then um, just your standard flight suit underneath of that. One thing to note here is this awesome um, pilot helmet here, mm -hmm. and that's in our newest uh, 3D printed material. Um, and I think it's 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 some of the best uh, production quality that we've uh, been able to achieve thus far. So yeah, very I'm very excited impressive. for that. And this is just it's uh it's not painted. That that helmet's not painted or anything. That's just straight up um, that white color. So turned out nice. But yeah, that's the figure. More than meets the eye. I love I love that kind of stuff here and a little bit of the background behind why this specific artwork was chosen and then obviously, yeah, that 3D printed helmet is absolutely elite. So there you have it, the Designer Studio episode for the Lockheed F-104 Starfighter, now available on BrickMania.com. Thanks for watching.